Hey, welcome back guys to the triple H.com and I have got a comment out here uh, from one of my users. He said, didn't you have any image preview in the demo version? Yeah, I do have the image preview out here. Once you are editing a newsletter, on the very top it shows which particular template you have selected. So guys, it is something really easy. As you can see, you are getting the newsletter name out here. On the name basis, you can show a different image. So let me show you what I'm talking about here you can run a if and an else statement you can say if the temp name is equals to blue you can show one image else uh, or you can say else if if the temp name is equal to dark you can show a different image so guys it's really easy the reason I'm not covering these small small things because this particular series is already you know stretching a lot so I just want to finish it as early as I can and today we would be creating uh, the bug like we would be validating this particular form in order to submit it so very first where we are pulling the data from our database out here we will have to create a form so I'm gonna say form meta would be post and the action would be edit.php okay and we can encode everything inside our form and out here on the bottom we can actually close it after this second dev just out here now we will have to write the script in order to validate and submit this form with the changes that have been made at the time of editing <clears throat> so go to scripts create a new file name it to validate edit.php that's the reason I create a lot of files just in order to keep everything needle clean because at the time you guys are writing the code it is really easy to track your codes but later if you have you know junk of code in in one file it would be really hard for you to understand what code is doing what so it's better you can keep them in a different like in a different folder so that you're sure that script folders will have all the database files your JS folder will have all the JavaScript files so you can keep things neat and clean <clears throat> out here I'm going to open the PHP tag and from the top I'm going to include the connection file. Now what I'm going to say if is set dollar post and if the person is hitting this particular button what's the name of the button I'm not even sure okay the button name is edit so if the person is hitting the edit button then only run the following code okay then we will get everything from these fields and the variables and then later we will head them to our database so <clears throat> let me check out what's the name of this field this field has a name of name so I'm gonna say dollar name would be equal to dollar post name okay and the dollar subject will have the dollar post subject okay. then the sender's name will be dollar s name will be equal to dollar post s name Then we have the sender's email. I can say s email will be equal to dollar post s email. I believe that's good. Let's verify that we have the same feelings. Okay, this one have s email. This one have s name. Okay, we are left with our message. So here I can say dollar message will be equals to dollar post message okay now we are getting everything in the variables we can make a check if empty dollar name or empty dollar email that would be s email in the same way oh my gosh I can copy it I can paste it for several times. Uh, for S email, it would be S name. 
then there would be subject and we have our message okay so if any of these are empty then go ahead and throw them an error otherwise insert it to the database <coughs> then dollar error oh my gosh will be equal to please fill all the fields out here we're gonna write our else statement and the else will do it it will update everything in our database so I'm gonna say daughter update just a normal variable run a MySQL query update the name of our table uh, that was okay named connect that was out here news okay name of the table was newsletter so I'm gonna say update newsletter set name equals to yeah, dollar name after that would be subject equals to dollar subject And after subject, we have description. I can say description equals to dollar description. Then we have sender name equal to dollar s name. And in the last, we have sender email equals to dollar s email okay or die minus two of error but guys there is a problem right now if you will run this particular query it's gonna update everything in this particular database because the query is not sure which particular field to update so we will have to get the id of this newsletter and then we will have to you know let the already know that only update this particular ID so for that what we're gonna do is out here we will create a hidden field so you can create it anywhere it hardly matters but it needs to be inside the form so I'm gonna say input uh, uh, type hidden the name would be equal to hidden ID the value would be equal to uh, it would be equal to dollar ID Out here we are getting the dollar ID from our URL so that would be equal to this out here we can create one more variable we can say dollar ID is equal to dollar post hidden ID okay go ahead and in the very last we're gonna say where ID is equal to dollar ID only update this particular one then we can say if you are able to run this query successfully then go ahead give us a success message that would be equal to update it successfully okay and else would be mm, dot or error you can say error saving to database I believe everything looks good right now we can check whether it's working or not but uh, <clears throat> I believe out here we will have to show those messages very first on the top we will have to include this file so I'm gonna say include once script slash validate edit.php edit.php then out here on the bottom I can say PHP if is set dollar error okay echo dollar error and in the same way if the success is happening go ahead and echo success out 
I believe everything looks good. We can try it and hope so. We will not end up with any kind of errors. Okay, I can click on this button. It will open the edit form. And let me change my name to this name. Hit edit. Let's see what happens. It says undefined variable description on line 20. Okay. Because here we have to say message. Okay. And it says unknown column name in the field list. Let's see why. Because we have the. Because here we have temp name not the name so i have to say temp name equals to name i believe it's good now we can try it once again please select table and newsletter go back preview right now we can edit it but guys here is a problem if i will hit the edit button uh it will not show us the success message because out here we have the form uh, action to edit.php we will have to append one more thing I have to say edit equal to dollar edit dollar ID I'm sorry now it will work fine say edit let me change it to this name okay hit submit uh, here it says updated successfully and here it says this name so that means we are able to do it successfully the guys reason I append this ID equal to dollar ID because this particular page is only able to do anything if it's getting this particular field in the last if you're gonna remove it though you would be able to update the form successfully you won't be able to see this particular page and you won't be able to see this particular message which says update successfully now if you want you can put this in a in a div and give it a green color and show it on the top or show it on the bottom the way you people want to do i just want to show you how to edit this form now it, it's working fine we can go back to our send newsletter and if i will hit send it's gonna send the newsletter that we will uh, that we're gonna create right now